And introduce Michelle Donnellan, uh, Secretary of State for Culture and Media, who wants to talk to us uh, about this online safety bill. Uh, good morning to you. We can just about see you in the dark there. Thanks for good bearing morning. with us. Uh, look, you're going yeah. after the big tech companies. Uh, if they fail to protect young people, huge fines for them. Sounds good in principle, but how on earth is this going to work? So it works um, by a, a range of different things. We're describing it as a triple shield when it comes to adults. So when it comes to adults, if illegal content is on social media platforms, they have to take it down. The second part of the shield is they have to actually enact their terms and conditions, which we know they're not doing now. They treat different sections of society differently to others. On a Monday, they might enforce them. On a Tuesday, they don't. And then we're also, as a third element of that shield, saying that they've got to have more control for users over the content they see. But I personally believe the most fundamental and most important part of this bill is what we're doing for children. Now, what we're doing for children is really shielding them from the harms that they may see on social media platforms. And I'm told day in, day out by parents that that's certainly what they want and from the general public. So in terms of illegal content or also harmful content towards children, that will no longer be allowed on social media platforms. If they evade the law, then they could face fines up to 10% of their global turnover. And that is billions of pounds. That will certainly hit them where it hurts and be a strong deterrent to prevent them from acting in the way that they've done up to now, which has been putting profits before people and before children. So, Michelle, as an educator myself, who's spoken with tens of thousands of British teenagers about safeguarding them against online pornography, I know for my sins that children are so clever at getting around all these obstacles about lying about their age, about using proxy networks. Is this really enforceable? And actually, is the answer is more parental responsibility? Uh, so actually, this was something that I was worried about in terms of the ages of children joining these platforms. We know that all the big platforms set age 13 as the, as the age in which you can then join the platform. But we know that most of them aren't really adhering to that. In fact, often they promote their platform to kids of 10, 9, 8, which is disgraceful. And that's one of the things that I've strengthened within the bill. So I've said when they set these age limits, they've actually got to adhere to them. They've got to explain to parents and everybody else how they're going to do that. They've got to lay that out in their terms of, of conditions. And if they don't adhere to it, so if they do let nine, ten-year-olds on their platform, equally they will face the same sanctions. So I agree with you. It's fundamentally important that we don't just let them say that they're going to do this, but not actually do it. The problem, I suppose, with the internet is it's a global concept, isn't it? People can access the internet from all over the world mm. and, and the rules are set all over the world, not just here in the UK. Is it possible to have a bill like this and to work in isolation when it comes to these big companies like Meta or Google or whatever it might be? Yeah, I mean, we're certainly not working in isolation. In fact, the rest of the world is watching and waiting for us to do this uh, legislation. I've spoken to many ministers and counterparts across uh, the globe who've said that they are interested in using our legislation as the blueprint for their own. And, and when it comes to these corporations, yes, they're international. The vast majority of them have huge footprints in the UK. They hire a lot of people, but they will have to face the ramifications of British law. They will be subject to these fines if they fail uh, the, the legislation. And they certainly know this bill is coming. It's been a long time coming. I've had many conversations with them, so have my predecessors. Uh, the writing is on the wall now, and what we're doing is bringing it back to Parliament, ensuring it becomes a law, and we're protecting children fundamentally so that there are no more cases like that very tragic and horrendous case of Molly Russell. And obviously I want to pay tribute to her family who have campaigned very hard for this piece of legislation and, and the other families that have been impacted uh, by the social media's approach to their, their users and especially children. Many such families are on this programme as well and we, we do share that tribute.